To perform missions within a solar system, you will need to utilize the In Systems Ops page. Uh, this page can be reached a number of different ways throughout the game. One way is go to the main menu and under the fleet menu item there is drop down to in system ops link. This will take you to the in systems ops page and will be loaded based on the last fleet you uh, had selected or worked with. The local system ops page takes you also to the in systems ops page but it will use the last planet you selected. It will show you the fleets um, for the last planet you were working with. If you wish to use this and maybe change planets, you can go up to the uh, planets menu item, go down, select the planet that you last utilized. Another method is to use either the fleet orders or fleet inventory page and on this page there will be a column uh, called in system ops. If you wish to select the particular fleet, you go down to that fleet row and you click on the link with the star name where that fleet is located. The in system ops interface shows you the current planets that are in that solar system and it will show you a little bit of information about the uh, the planet selected. In this case the default is to the Sun. For our home system, we're going to click on the planet that is our uh, innermost to the sun where our home system is. And we'll see below that it has been selected. There's a little bit of an icon here showing you that there is a local fleet over that planet. And it will give you the planet name, its type, uh, and a little bit of information about that planet. And by clicking on that planet, it is one way to select the target planet where the fleet will be headed. The other way of course is within the fleet interface to pick the uh, drop from the drop down menu which planet you wish to run the mission against. The fleet menu allows you to pick the number of ships and from which fleet you wish to send on the mission. At the top of the itemized unit column the uh, Fleet has a either a fleet name or a fleet ID, and this link will take you to the fleet details page. Or, if you click on the select all link, that will load the assignment column with all the ships in that fleet, along with all the cargo in that fleet. In this example, we see that there's one small cargo, two recons, and there is some cargo that is shown in that cargo ship. Suppose we want to run an unload cargo mission. Well, we don't need the recon ships, so I can either use the slider bar to remove them, or I can just type a number or delete that number in the direct entry box. And let us suppose, and the same is true here for the amount of cargo we wish to unload. We've already selected the uh, planet we wanted to un unload the cargo to, and it should be noted that any excess of cargo is lost on a planet or jump gate if it exceeds the maximum warehousing capability that that planet or jump gate holds. So in other words, it just goes away. The If there's more than one fleet in that system, you may need to assign the fleet from this pull down menu or the select all will do it for you automatically. You want to select your mission. In this case we're going to select unload cargo because we're going to run an unload cargo mission. For additional mission information and descriptions on the different mission types this is covered in the online manual um, under the menu of operations and the submenu of fleet operations. The uh, commitment level, um, why, even though this is a cargo operation, uh, should you advance on that planet and run into enemy forces, 
then the commitment level will describe how much damage your fleet will take before it retreats. If your fleet survives more than one round of combat and takes more than 25% damage on a light commitment, it will then return to where it came from. Medium is 50%, heavy is 75%, and total means it will be a fight to the death. If you wish to keep your fleet separated and not merge with any fleets at that location, you'll need to check the detached command. Task groups allow for combined fleet operations, and this will be covered in a different video tutorial. Once you've chosen all the parameters that you need, it, then all you need to do is execute the operation, and that will start the mission. If you do not have all the appropriate fields filled out, for example, no, no fleet selected or no ship selected, then the, this page will recycle and you'll need to reload that information. Um, one quick note, as a side note on colonies, uh, just as a hint, you will probably need more than one colony ship to establish a colony. Once the fleet has been assigned, you can see that the numbers are reduced. There's now only two recon ships left because the cargo ship is uh, on its uh, cargo mission. We can see this by looking at the fleet orders or fleet inventory page. On this page, we'll see that there is a new fleet established that we currently can't click on the uh, links because it's in transit. And we can see how long it's going to take for it to complete that mission what that mission is, that it's unloading cargo, and what planet it's unloading it on, uh, what its commitment level is, and then if we wish and we made a mistake in our fleet assignments or we have 10 minutes to recall that fleet. If the fleet goes out for 9 minutes and you click recall fleet, it will take 9 minutes for that fleet to return.